Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 video. Let's get this uh, started. In today's one we're going to be taking a look at the night lighting in Dresden. So I've picked an S-Bahn service in the Dostos, as I don't think we've actually uh, taken a look at the Dostos yet in this. As I, I, don't, I sort of avoid the Dostos on this, um, as you get the talent too, uh, which also runs the S-Bahn services. So I usually just do that, so it's a bit more chilled out and a bit easier. Um, Set the coach lights to on, which hopefully they are on. Yeah, they're all good. Uh, although, if you are on the 143, uh, once you put the train power on, you actually have to come to one of these panels here and you can turn the lights on from here. Uh, but yeah, we're in the Dosto. We've got the 143 at the back as well. I don't know why it says Nitra Steigen. Maybe I'm in one of the older Dostos. As if you've got the other German routes, it will substitute some. Um, see if. Uh, Sifa Sifa, there we go, and you've got PZB, which is the odd one out down here. There you go, that's all on. Um, yeah, looks like we have to wait again. But yeah, I've, I've made it so it is uh, still, you know, slightly light. As if it was all dark, it would be, you know, but we wouldn't be able to see anything. But yeah, uh, so it's uh, dusk at the moment, so it would be quite nice. Right, can we change this? What one have we got? Oh, we've got the, I think we've got the Rapid Transit one, so the very original <laughs> Um, well, not completely original Dosto, but the second oldest farm. So we'll get that off. But yeah, this is the uh, new one, I'd imagine. No, with the VVO one, I think. Well, it's not her at the moment. Right, let's say we have to wait, as usual, for another service to come in. Um, I think it's usually a 612, I think. Or is it 612? Where is it? Well, wherever it is, it's, it's still quite far. If I missed it. We don't have the green at the moment. What are we waiting for? Might be something going out, maybe. Maybe. Can't, oh, it might actually be coming out of the depot. Anything moving? Anything moving? Anything moving? Nothing at the moment. Uh. I'm not too sure, but let's lock the doors and just see if it is going to be, if it then turns green. I don't think it will though, but we'll give it a go. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well let's get the doors open and uh, let's go on a free cam and just take a look at Dresden, Dresden Hold Ban off. See how it's looking from over here. Yeah, this is. Uh, this route does have a night lighting enhancement, so the same as Rita to Dresden, so it just makes it look better at night. Which it does look better. See all the buildings are slightly more lit up and all the landmarks. So it does look uh, pretty good. I'd say it probably does look... Oh, look at that over there. I think I do put on Rita to Dresden, as you go past all of that over there, which the town over well, the old town area looks brilliant. That You can sort of just about see it from here. Right, is that what is it is it is the train coming now? I think it'll be something coming out the depot, I think. Mm. Well that's it now, it might be that. Doesn't take too long to get here though. In fact what I'll do is I'll see you all when it gets here. See you all in a second. Right, the uh, service is just coming in, so we should be let's get the doors shut now. That should go green very shortly. There you go, there's the train there, you can see it coming in. We're not going to move forward just yet. Well, that should have cleared the points any second now. Should do, <laughs> hopefully. Unless I went for something else, but well, we shouldn't be. Uh, that should clear. Please clear. There we go, right, let's go. We are off. On our way to Dresden Plorin. Okay. I'll keep the HUD on actually. Oh no, you got to be careful on this. It's very easy to um, trip the PZB. As the 143, when you're in the Dosto, is very powerful. Well, it feels like it's very powerful. So I suppose there's a bit of a response time between, you know, the loco and this. So you can see the speed does go up fairly quickly. So far. That's quite cool, the uh, glare there coming off of the 
when it's going to be at Dresden Night or uh, probably yeah, that probably the video title or Dresden at Night, something like that. But yeah, out we go. Okay, a couple of screenshots coming out of here. Cool. Hey, there's an IC service up there. That's cool to see. That's just coming in. Which, yeah, Dresden Hot Banoff is a hive of activity. There's always something going on. But that is uh, next gen and PC only, unfortunately. So if you're playing on last gen, you won't get those. You won't see those extra tons of services. So you can't drive them, but you just see them there. There's the big power station over there. Kicking out all the fumes. See, that's lit up quite well. Those uh, funnels there. It's quite industrial around here. I've got a, a little bit over there. Let's bring that down. There we go. That's better. Uh, I'll be able to speed up fairly soon to 70. So we are going to be late to Dresden Ploran. But I think the timetable does actually accommodate for it. As we should be back on time by, I think, uh, Fladel Heinsberg. We should be uh, back on time by them. So I think it does accommodate for um, the services coming in and making you run late to the first stop. Which is alright. Cool. But yeah, what does everyone prefer? Do you prefer driving at day or do you prefer driving at night? I wouldn't really say I have a preference because, well, on stream I mostly always do uh, daytime because it's just better for stream. Um, but yeah, off stream I do do quite a bit of uh, night runs, just sort of more relaxing, especially you know sort of later evening. Just want to come on, chill out, do a do a little run. I will do it in the night. Also a bit more of a challenge as well. And you still can see the scenery. Uh, especially with the night lighting on Freezer Dresden and this route. In some ways it almost does look better. See that? Yeah, Dresden and Ploran we're coming into. It's probably not how you pronounce it, but yeah. We'll go with that for now. Dresden Ploran. Right, let's uh, bring that down. I suppose this probably would be the uh, evening rush hour. Yeah, sort of anywhere between 5 and 7. Yeah, everyone going from Dresden to their homes in Farrander and all the little villages along the valley or little towns. Here we are. Bit of horn action that will wake everyone up. Might doubt anyone sleeping, but wake them all up on the platform. Here we are. Can you quickly get out of the way? Then I can take a screenshot. No, don't. Uh, you, you stop right there. Okay, that's not really ideal, but I can still get that there. Yeah, that that will do. But you've sort of stopped at yeah. Why there? <laughs> I suppose we could get that. There. Right. Let's get the door shut. And it's a fair distance to the next station. Which is in Fleda. Off the towel. That goes off. Come on, let's get going. It does take a while for the brakes to come off. Because of that one, four, three at the back. Which is a right nuisance at times. It does take a bit of getting used to driving this. Yes, yeah, a pretty old locomotive. Top speed's 120 as well, so you can't get any higher than that. Really, it's getting dark quick. Thought we had a bit of light. You know what? I'll get the cab light on. Um, as it is a video, and we don't want to be too dark. Why have you got the desk lights on here? Oops, that's all good. Um. That's quite time to. That's quite cool. Yeah, let's do that. You still see a bit then. 
Round we go, making our way through the valley. That's probably my phone, you can hear buzzing there, which everyone always says, oh, you might screw it up. But, yep, that's the, that's the phone going off, which is directly underneath the mic. See if I... Yeah, I think we've got Flatow something, then Hainsburg, Hainsburg West, and then Falander. Yeah, Jubin, that's the other one. Then Hainsburg, Hainsburg West, and then Falland at 57. Which probably will get there late. So probably sort of 12 minutes or so. Cool. Does look good though, doesn't it? It's more sort of chilled out. Well, I try and match um, what services I do to the time of day it is realistically. So, as I was saying, most of the time I do play trains in World 2 on my own is in the evening. So, I will um, do a night run. Which is some ways I prefer. Anyway, we're coming into Flatow now. We've got one kilometre to Potts Chapel. Which we are a little bit late, but that's all good. I'm sure they won't mind. No one's going to work now, everyone's probably going home. Well, I wonder if there are any sort of cases of that where people live in Dresden and then go to Faranda for work. Was well, anyone watching? Do you live in the city, but you, to go to work you go to a village or a town? So you go the opposite way of everyone else going into the city. I thought that'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Sort of, you know, living in the city and then for work you get to go into the countryside into a village and work there. Or a town. Here we are, flit out, pot chapel. Don't screw up the stop, don't screw up the stop. We'll be all good. Here we are. Cool. Doesn't take long as it's an S-Bahn service and you'll be off again. It is all very quick. Ah, oh, blooming late. Yeah. All good. Alright, start releasing the brakes. Let's take a little bit of a while on here. Flatel Jubin next. Let's go. Let's do that into full whack. See, this is sort of all 612. There it goes. As I was saying, yeah, that's why I prefer driving the talent too. It's much more sort of chilled out to drive on it. And easier as well. Come on, we'll do a bit of free cam action once we get to Flatow Jubin. Then we'll sort of be at the top of the hill. And then we can look over Flatow. And uh, see how it looks. But we are off. See if that. The window there you can open. So I wonder if there's any secret places on this route. Because on uh, Rita to Dresden, obviously you had the Meissen branch where you had the secret bit you could go off and walk around. There's got to be something like this on here. Gotta be. Has anyone found anywhere secret? But yeah, Flatow Jubin we're coming into now. Next station stop. Pretty steep grade coming up here. Yeah, it's flattening out a little bit now. Yeah, it's Hainsburg, Hainsburg West, and then Falander. After that, so we're getting there. Yeah, Sifa, there we go. Here we are. Right, let's uh, 
fly up quickly and see what we can see. See how it looks. You can still see the smoke coming out of the um, power station in Dresden. Blimey, that's got a long uh, uh, loading distance. Wow. See a bit of light up there. Looks better though, doesn't it? So originally, so about for the ones about night lighting, it just is all dark and you, well, you can't really see a lot apart from the little tiny house lights. But on here, there's a bit more going on with the lighting. Things are a bit more easily recognisable. Wait for the brakes to do their thing. Right, flit out Hainsburg next. Let's go. We're off. It's not too far, and that's the uh, where you get the narrow gauge bits, which are one of the uh, yard there will be all lit up. That's where you can see the uh, reflection in the window there of the uh, front panel. That's quite cool. 900 meters. There's the 100. Is it all lit up? Yeah, it is. Look at that. It's all lit up. That's awesome. You got the narrow gauge coaches there as well. Get the brakes on a fair bit as we're coming in quite quick, and the brakes on here are okay, although could be better. That's also another reason why I sort of prefer the talent. Even though the brakes on there, there are similar, it's just a bit easier to control. Here we are. There we go. And actually looked at the station here. There you've got a few carriages lined up. I know what loco would operate on here. Maybe a little diesel shunter or a little steam engine. Let's get the door shut. And let's flit our Hainsburg West next. And after that, it's Sen Falenda. Let's go. But yeah, who would say this is their favourite German route? It's a tough one, because it's a very good route. Uh, sort of a mix of Rüsselg, Nord and Main, best sort of bumble. But would I say it's my favourite German route? I think it's probably still Habstrecker Rhein Ruhr for me, which is my favourite. Um, it's sort of tough to sort of rank the other ones. I've got a favourite, but then second and third is really hard to rank. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's my favourite, uh, but it's still a very, very good route. It would be very much up there. See far. And the narrow gauge railway is actually running alongside us at the moment. You can see it down there. That that then goes off uh, along the river. Start bringing that down. See if that. And here we are, Flatow, Hainsburg West. We'll be fairly careful coming in here. See that? Here we are. That's Farrant after this. Or Farrand, uh, how do you say it? <laughs> Door shut. And this one will be back at 1905, so less than 10 minutes, and this one will be going back. 
It's very quick turnaround times. Don't know how long it is once you get back to Dresden, but yeah, Farrander, you don't get a lot of time. We should be there now, but that's not going to happen. Let's go, let's uh, whack that up. Two kilometres. There you go, that's going up nicely. There's the warning for the 90. So far. Acknowledge that. Doesn't have a magnet on it, although we do have a yellow coming up here, so. I have to uh, pop that down. Yeah, that's got a magnet on it. So, come down below 85. In a minute, you'll see, I think, a 60 board or 60 warning board. That's the next one you have to look out for. Sit up. Where is it? Should be coming up. Sixty, that's sixty. Acknowledge that. As we come into Farland, Farland, Farland. How do you say it? <laughs> See if I yes, here we are. We've got to be careful as well because we've got the red light. Here we are. But yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed the video. If you have, uh, feel free to leave a thumbs up. It all does help out. Yeah, this one will probably be back out straight away. Yeah, 02, it goes out. And it's pretty much 7 o'clock now. So, yeah, very quick turnaround time. Here we are. Well, that is going to be it, everyone, uh, for today's uh, Train Tomorrow 2 video. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, you will find the link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. But apart from that, thanks all for coming in and I hopefully will see you in the next one. See you all and take care. Bye guys.